Hello YouTube, welcome back to another game of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. This is going to be the fifth game between our two nations, France and uh, Finland. Now this is the semi-final of Nation Wars number three. And uh, let's start off with a question of the series, which is what is the most underrated StarCraft unit that you can think of? Leave it in the comment below. Of course, if you want to explain why you think that, let me know, of course. Let's introduce our players very quickly. We have Soral spawning as the blue zerg on the bottom of sh Orbital Shipyard. Soral is representing both my insanity and Team Finland. Now his opponent is going to be Marine Lord. And Marine Lord is representing Team Millennium and the nation of France. Now the scores are about to come up. So if you haven't seen the previous games, please click on the on the links in the description otherwise you will miss out okay it's too late at this point so let's have a quick look and we've got three four marine lord now france is up three to one so if they win this game with this cheese as you can see here then they will take the series and move on to the final to face off against korea if not then they will, of course, move on to the next game. Now, it looks like there's cheese going down here from Marine Lord. Is it going to be spotted pretty much straight away? Very likely could. This is definitely good for the for uh, for Soral to be able to see this at the very beginning. But on the other hand, all he's got is a hatchery almost complete and the pool almost complete. Well, about halfway there. So these reapers are going to be in here before that spawning pool actually completes but it does get spotted so the cheese getting spotted pretty much straight away and let's see how much we're going to actually get out of this so there we go first reaper is now inside the base there is a bunker going down as well queen is on the way but she's still quite some some bit away and let's see how much damage this reaper is going to get done Metabolic boost is being produced. Zerglings are about to come out as well, but two Zergling, or two drones have already been picked off by this one Reaper. Oh, this Reaper definitely wants to be careful. Don't let it die. And okay, one gets picked off, but I still think definitely still worth it. So far, so good. Let's see what's being produced. Still producing more and more Reapers out of this. Now inside his base, there's nothing special going on. Just producing more and more workers. And two Reapers now in position here, just doing a bit of damage. So let's see, this Queen is of course in position to defend. There is a second Queen being brought in from the second base here. So let's see what happens here. Now the Spine Crawler is being brought a little bit forward here. Now we definitely not want to bring that too close because of course they will be able to attack it at that point. And is starting to do a lot of damage to the Spine Crawler. Definitely wants to be a little bit careful with it, not to lose it. It's a big investment to lose. So more and more Reapers being produced here. This is a nasty situation for Soral. He's just being locked down inside his own base. Despite the fact that he's got triple, uh, triple, even more than triple the army of, of Marine Lord. And it's just these, these Reapers are just so problematic. So I can imagine at this point, the panic is going down. Let's look at the APM. Oh, wow, that was a huge Zergling hit right there. Very nice bomb. And let's see, so many units dropping here. The army supply is still very, very heavily favoring Soral at this point. And looks like he's using Transfuse on the Spine Crawler. Gonna be able to clean up that one bunker, but there is a second one. He's probably just going to rally the units straight into the second one, which actually he did. And managing to salvage that one as well. 75 minerals. That one not quite being salvaged. And looks like five Reapers remaining. Now he's continuing on with this. He's bringing out Marines out of here as well. So I wonder if this is just going to be there to... To fend off against anything that comes his way. Or if he's just going to continue with unit production to actually do damage there. Now he's bringing out... With the Marine Lord is bringing out a base second. So of course, probably trying to standardize the game now he's done a lot of damage but probably not enough in terms of economic damage to actually fight off uh, or to continue with this aggression so this overlord being brought away maybe that's actually why he brought out the marine just to basically fight or kill this this overlord and unfortunately the marine getting taken out before he kills the overlord 
And there we go. Reaper still in position here, doing more and more damage. Four queens in place at the moment. I do believe that unless they, uh, the actual Reaper count is going to double here, then these queens should be able to hold off against pretty much anything. I mean, they've got a lot of energy. There's a lot of transfuses available. So he should theoretically be able to hold us off. Now the Overlord gonna see exactly what's going on here. There's three more barracks being thrown down. Now he does have an extra expansion available and ready to be used as well. So that is something to note. So if he wants to go for the third expansion, he will of course be able to do it. And more and more Reapers. Look at the sheer amount of these Reapers. I mean, that is a total of nine right now. And he's got more and more being pumped out the whole time. This is not looking very, very good for Sorrel right now. I mean, he's stuck inside his base. There's no way for him to take a third base, despite the fact that that a Marine Lord can pretty much take his at any time he wants. I mean, there's just a few Zerglings here. They're not going to be able to break through this wall at all, unless, you know, of course, he just completely decides to not defend it. But he does have Marines here, which means that he will be able to hold off against that. Now, what is he going to do with these Reapers? He's probably going to want to move around the spine crawler, at least not to get into it. And, ooh, a an expansion being planned here for Sorrel. Now, I don't know if this is the correct time. I think he would probably be better off getting uh, Roaches and basically bringing them out and defending off against this with the Roaches. They're much better against against Reapers than, than Zerglings and Queens. And there we go, the surround. That's actually a nice surround here, but so many bombs going down that unfortunately is going to clean up all of the Zerglings there. And there we go, the huge damage going down here. Oh, the bombs, so much damage onto the Queen. He's going to be running out of those transfuses soon, but he is getting his expansion up as well. Now, I assume he should be producing... No, he's actually not. He's not making any more Queens at the moment. He just seems to be bringing up a Spire. Once a Spire goes down, if he can get a few Mutilists down, which he might as well do. I mean, he's got... 700 minerals, 700 gas. He should be able to fight this off quite easily at that point. I mean, Mutilists are faster, and of course, the fact that the Reapers can't actually attack air. So he will be able to fend this off with Mutilists. And it's just about to complete. Where is that Spire? There it is. I assume it has not been spotted. No, it has not been spotted at all. There we go. Queen's taking so much damage. Manages to snipe off one. Transfuse has gone down. Now, this is kind of a dangerous situation for him. He does have eight, eight um, Mutilists on the way. But is it going to be fast enough? Is it going to be enough to kill off these, these Reapers? There we go. Finally, damage going down here. They're probably going to just chase them down. Try to kill them as fast as possible. But the question is, should he chase them? Or should he go for the economy of of marine lord now there is going to be missile turrets being brought up here as you can see as well a bunch of marines and marauders in place as well so the mutilists have done their job they've defended off against the reapers the question is going to be what is he going to do with them next it will be a very difficult situation to actually try to get into mineral and simply because there's already a missile turret here might be able to snipe off a worker every now and then but at the same time he's going to have to be very careful not to engage all of the marines as well Marines will cause him a big headache. Let's just follow these around just for a little bit. Let's see what's going to happen with them. Now level 1 armor and, and weapons has been completed for the bio army of Marine Lord. So is he going to be able to push out with this? It's actually a huge army. I mean look at the army supply. 63 to 36. I think that Sorrel is going to be in a lot of trouble here. And of course, he doesn't have roaches yet. And that is his biggest problem right now. He does have a bunch of banelings. But are banelings going to be enough against 10 marines? Honestly, I don't know. They were actually hidden here for quite some time. So a good engage here. And a lot of those marines getting taken out. But not enough. There's so, so many of them remaining. It's just a straight on engage. And oh my god, all these mutilists getting taken out as well. Drones getting absolutely massacred here. This one... Poor Medivac just not doing enough. 
healing to keep these marines alive and wow look at that he's managed to hold us off this is absolutely huge the only problem that i see right now is the fact that Soral has lost so many workers in that engagement 20 workers have been destroyed with holding off that on the other hand it does give him a bit of breathing space right now all he really needs to do is just continue to pump out units i really really think that he needs either fungal growths from infestors or roaches to deal with these um with these marines because he's in such a difficult position and there we go serral gging out marine lord wow taking out finland so well here i mean he's taken four games in a row or three games in a row rather so that is pretty much that very very well played here from marine lord and uh yeah so three to one in favor of four to one in favor of finland Okay, and that's pretty much it for game number five between France and Finland. France taking the win, which means France is going to be going on to the final versus Korea, who won the previous uh, best of seven with the semi in the semi-final. Hope you've enjoyed this. Our question of the series, and it's the last time I'll be mentioning it, this one, is what is the most underrated StarCraft unit you know? Why? If you want to answer that as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. Of course, leave the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'll see you guys in the next series, which is going to be the final between Korea and France. Good luck, take care, and I'll see you guys there.